Do you guys know what swing is in Studio One or in music? Swing is what I'm going to describe right now. Let's pop an instrument in to our timeline. Let's do impact. And we're just going to load up some random kit. What's Balkan lines? Uh, I don't need that. Yeah, this will work. Okay, so let's uh, let's actually create a little pattern here. We're gonna do like a, we're gonna do a bunch of hi hats. Okay, so you got a hi hat here. I want to go dun 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 dun. So I think we just do this. Let's duplicate that a bunch of times with D. That's what I want. And then we want to go like a kick. Like a... And let's play that in a loop. Like that. And duplicate that. So we got two of these going on. And let's hear how this sounds. That, that clap is very loud. Let's lower the clap. Very easy and impact. Just pop on the clap. Bring down the gain. This is. And I don't like the decay, it's too much. Good enough. Okay, for the sake of this video, it's good enough. All right, so we have a drum beat here. It's very kind of plain. And there's uh, there's not a lot of kind of swingy back and forth motion to it. It's dun, 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 right on the grid. Bum, 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 bum. Swing is more of a dun, 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 dun. And, and you can't get that if you match things up to the grid, it takes away that. Like you could draw that in manually if you, you turn off snapping and you're not snapping everything right to the grid and you have to draw it in manually and it would be a huge pain in the butt. But there is a way to enable swing and snap every, everything to the grid with a nice swing in Studio One. So if we highlight, um, well, no, before we even do that, go up to quantize here, right? You see where it says 1 16th? If you look at the bottom row, or starting here, starting here, you see where it says 20% SW, all these SWs? That stands for swing, and that's what I'm talking about. Like, if I do a 60% swing, the grid lines change. I don't know if you could tell that. And now, if I select everything and quantize, hit Q, No, I did that wrong. I did it wrong. I'm not going to even edit that out. Let's go one eighth instead of one sixteenth and do a sixty percent swing. That make that lowers the amount of grid lines in here. So now we're doing eighth notes instead of sixteenth notes. Anyway, you're going to get the idea. Now, if I select everything and hit Q, it pops some of the hi hats to the grid, snaps them to the grid now, so it sounds like this. Get the idea? If I did one sixteenth or sixteenth notes, there would be too many grid lines, and my hi hats weren't snapping to the right spot. That's why I had to do eighth. Okay, I mean, I'm glad I made that mess. I meant to do that mistake. All right. So and then, then we could actually like increase the amount of swing up to a hundred percent by just choosing this one, which is eighth notes a hundred percent. And let's uh, let's select everything and hit Q to snap it to the grid. Now it's a much more defined swing. Cool. Now say you just need a little bit of swing. Let's do eighth notes, 20% swing. It's going to sound like the original thing we had, but a little less, a little less swingy. All right. Let's bring it to 40%. And then 60%. Hit Q. 80%. Hit Q. 100%. Hit Q. Swing, 
swing, swing, swing, swing, swing, swing, swing. Get the idea? That is swing. That's how you do it in Studio One. So if you <clears throat> if you ever need swing, this is how you get swing. You could also do it up here. See, I'm quantizing down in the editor here, and I'm just quantizing the notes. But say, for example, um, I want to work up here and quantize everything in this event. It's going to adhere to whatever says quantize up here and not up here if I'm working up here. So now if I hit Q up here, it actually... It snapped it to the closest line that it could find, which was 16th notes, and it sounds like that. So let's if we go to just straight up eighth notes and hit Q, pops it right to the grid. Anyway, what I'm trying to say, <laughs> this is when you do videos on the fly. Sometimes stuff works, sometimes stuff doesn't work the way you want. Um, I'm just trying to say, if you're up here and you have quantized settings, <clears throat> They're going to apply to whatever you do up here. But when you're, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're down in the editor and you have quantize settings um, and you hit quantize, it's going to adhere to what's ever here. So cool, swing, see ya.